Hi guys, this video will be about balanced and unbalanced forces and you can use it either as a review for the test or as makeup if you were absent on the day we learned about this. Make sure that if you were absent you do the makeup assignment as well which is posted on Canvas. So here in this picture you can see some people playing tug of war and the three people on the right side are pulling with 300 newtons of force and then the three people on the left side are also pulling with 300 newtons of force. So if you imagine this scenario probably the rope isn't going to be moving very much because they're both pulling with equal forces. Um, so there's not going to be a lot of motion because the 300 newtons on this side is canceling out the 300 newtons on this side. So in this case this would be these are balanced forces because they're equal and they cancel each other out. Unbalanced forces would be if they don't cancel each other out. Okay so like this for example we have 400 newtons on the left side and 300 newtons on the right side. So they're not equal. So in this case, they are unbalanced. The people on the left side are stronger than the people on the right. They're pulling harder. Now I want you to imagine in this scenario which team is going to win. Well, it's probably going to be the team on the left side, and the whole group is probably going to move to the left because they're pulling harder on the left than they are on the right. Um, we would call this net force if we're figuring out the leftover force. Um, we're going to take the big force minus the small force. So to find net force, let's do 400 newtons minus 300 newtons because this 300 newtons on the right is going to cancel out 300 of the newtons on the left. Newtons is just a unit that we use to measure force. So kind of like we can use centimeters or inches to measure the length of something, we use newtons to measure how powerful a force is. So 400 newtons minus 300 newtons, we end up with 100 newtons to the left. And the way I know it's to the left is because the bigger force is on the left. And like I told you, the whole group is going to move left. So our net force is going to be 100 newtons to the left. If that's a little tricky at first, don't worry, we're going to do more practice. So let's go ahead and keep going. So here we have a box, and this box has forces applied to it in four different directions. So this is a little trickier even than the tug of war example. Let's first look at the side to side forces because we've done that before. So on the right we have five newtons, and then on the left we have five newtons. That means that's going to be balanced in the left and right direction. Because remember, to find the net force, we take the big force minus the small force. In this case, it's just five newtons minus five newtons. And we get zero newtons. That means the box isn't moving left or right. It's going to stay in place. But let's look at the up and down forces. We have two newtons pushing up and two newtons pulling down. Lucky for us, that's also balanced. So the forces up and down are also balanced. To find the net force in the up and down direction, we would do the same thing. The big force minus the small force. In this case, they're the same. So two newtons minus two newtons equals zero newtons. Guess what? This box is not moving side to side, but it's also not moving up and down. It's just totally staying still because the forces are balanced side to side and they're balanced up and down. So that's a really easy scenario for us. Everything there is balanced. Let's see what other practice questions we have. Okay, in this case we have a book sitting on a table. Now if the book's sitting on the table and nobody's pushing it or picking it up or anything, it's probably just gonna stay there. Books don't really have legs and move by themselves, right? So the weight of the book is equal to the reaction force of the table. Now the reaction force of the table, we call this normal force. It's the force of the table pushing up on the book. And that force is acting on you right now. If you're sitting in a chair, normal force is the force of the chair pushing up on you. Or if you're standing, then normal force would be the force of the floor pushing up on the bottom of your feet. So normal force is acting on things that are like on the ground or on a table or on a chair. Right? So these two forces in this case are balanced because we know the book is not moving, it's just sitting there on the table. Let's see what other examples we have. Okay, so this one doesn't have like newtons, it doesn't have units, but we can still figure it out based on the size of the arrows. So look at this arrow up here. The force of the foot has a big arrow. 
So that means it's got a big force. Let's imagine that it's like 100 newtons of force. I just made that up. Let's imagine, okay? Um, the force of friction on the ground, which is pushing that way on uh, this guy's foot, that's a smaller arrow than the force of the foot. So that small arrow we know is a smaller force. Let's imagine it's like 20 newtons. Again, I'm just making that up, okay? So the red guy is kicking the blue guy with 100 newtons of force. The blue guy's foot is pushing on the ground with 20 newtons of force. It would probably, in reality, be more than that, but I just made it up. Um, to find the net force, we need to take the big force, 100 newtons, minus the small force, which is 20. And we end up with 80 newtons. Which direction, though? In the direction of the biggest force. In this case, the biggest force is to the right because the red guy is kicking the blue guy to the right. So the blue guy is gonna fall down, he's gonna fall to the right, and then he'll probably also fall down, but the force is to the right. He's gonna fall to the right with 80 newtons. Whoops, I'm having issues with my stylus. Hang on, there we go. 80 newtons to the right is gonna be our net force in this case. Okay, and those are unbalanced. All right, so let's look at this one. This one's tricky because we have two forces going to the right and one force going to the left. Well, in this case, let's add our two forces going to the right. So four plus four, we're gonna get eight newtons going to the right and three newtons going to the left. So they're not the same force. Eight newtons one way, three newtons the other way. That's gonna be unbalanced. Now to find the net force, Remember, we take the big force, 8 newtons, minus the small force, in this case 3 newtons, and we get 5 newtons, which direction? In the direction of the biggest force. In this case, the biggest force is going to the right. So the net force is going to be, oh man, I'm having issues with my stylus. 5 newtons to the right is going to be our net force in this case. And those are unbalanced forces. Okay. And next, we have a couple of examples in the up and down direction. So we have this bird that is diving, its weight is pulling down with 25 newtons, and the friction of the air, or air resistance, is pulling up with 16 newtons. These are not the same force, so they're unbalanced, okay? And remember, to find the net force, we take the big force minus the small force that's right across from it. So we're gonna do 25 newtons, minus 16 newtons, which is right across from it, and we end up with nine newtons in which direction? It'll be in the direction of the biggest force. So it'll be in the down direction, because the bird is diving down. Now let's practice that with this space shuttle, also in the up and down direction. Uh, we have 300 newtons pushing up and 100 newtons pulling down, that's the weight of the space shuttle pulling down. So those are not the same force, so this one is also unbalanced. So it's not gonna stay still, it's gonna move. To find out which direction it's gonna move, we do net force. The big force, 300 newtons, minus the small force, which is 100 newtons. We end up with 200 newtons in the direction of the big force, which in this case is up. So, oh man, I keep doing that. Uh, 200 newtons up is gonna be our net force in this case. And I think I only have one more practice. Let's see. This one is in the side to side. These people are playing tug of war, um, but we have 50 newtons on one side and 30 newtons on the other. That's not the same size of force. So we know that this is unbalanced. And we gotta find the net force, which you guys know how to do by now. The big force minus the small force. We end up with 20 newtons to the left. I know it's to the left because the biggest force is pulling to the left. The guy on the left is gonna win. He's pulling harder. You can already see the guy on the right is kind of falling over a little bit. He's leaning, right? So the net force is 20 newtons to the left. I think that might have been my last one. Yeah, that was my last one. Okay, uh, so hopefully that was helpful with net force and balanced and unbalanced forces. Um, if you are making up this day because you were absent, make sure to do the makeup assignment on Canvas. And if you were just studying for the test, then you could do the makeup assignment as practice if you want. Or if you're good, you can call that good. So good luck on the test.